What's up everyone? We're gonna learn how to type Korean and we're also gonna learn how to type Korean faster. So first thing you wanna do is install the Korean keyboard on your Windows 10 computer. To do this, just type keyboard options and then click add a language, add Korean, and then you don't wanna set this as your display language. Make sure that's checked off. Okay, and now you'll see the language pack Hangugo, which is Korean installed. And if you click on it and click options, you can go down to keyboards and make sure you have Microsoft IME keyboard installed. Okay, so now to first start typing Korean, open up like a Word document or whatever and click on the like text field. And you'll see in the bottom right, you'll now have an EN symbol appear. Now click on that EN symbol and change it to KO Korean. And you'll have like a KO, H, or Han, and then an A. So to start typing Korean, just click on the A and it'll turn into the Korean character Ga. And now you're gonna be able to start typing Korean. Also one useful piece of advice is to toggle between the English keyboard and the Korean keyboard. The hotkey is Shift Alt by default. And then once you're on the Korean keyboard to switch from the English to Korean, if you press the right Alt key, it'll toggle between languages. So that will really save you time when you're typing between English and Korean. All right, so now you can type Korean and that's good, but chances are you're probably gonna have a hard time because you don't quite know where the keys are on the keyboard yet. So when I was first learning to type Korean, I had the same exact problem and I was also in my freshman year programming class. So for my final project in that class, I made a keyboard or an on-screen keyboard which highlighted the Korean key as well as the English key so that you could train your brain to recognize where the Korean letters on the keyboard were in relation to the English letters. So it's not the best program in the world, but it will get you to understanding where the keys are on the keyboard within about an hour or probably less. And now you should start practicing typing Korean while studying. And what I would recommend is using a tool like Anki or Memrise. So as long as you have a basic understanding of the Korean keyboard, you can start doing this and you'll probably make some mistakes and forget where keys are, but you can just kind of guess and check. And if you made a mistake, go back and maybe guess another letter. Okay, so now how do you type faster? Um, the first thing I'd recommend is just pushing yourself to type faster during vocabulary studies on like Memrise or Anki. Just move your fingers faster and keep practicing. It takes time and you just have to be in like the zone. Okay, these are the top 10 Korean characters in K-pop. So they're gonna be very important if you wanna type fast. If you can type these fast, it's really gonna improve your typing speed. And they are E, O, A, Na, Ga, G, nin, ge, ne, no. And some of them are words on their own, but these will appear a lot. And the last piece of advice I have for typing faster other than practice is put yourself in situations where you need to type fast. So that could either be talking with someone in Korean, you might need to respond quickly like, oh, quickly pick up milk at the store. Or maybe if you're playing video games, you could be like, oh, Reaper dia iso. there's a reaper behind us, okay? And you'll notice that if there's pressure on you, you're going to be able to type faster. So being in those situations will really increase your speed.